I'm married, and that's my husband's name. I, I wasn't born that posh. <laughs> anyway, so two years ago, um, I was, interestingly, sliding across the bed deck of a lorry, and I had cow poo on one side, easing my flow, and uh, in one eye, I had a young, black, angry Angus, and in the other eye, I had an escape hatch, and I thought, how the hell did I get here? When I was young, I wanted to grow up and have a meaningful effect on people's lives. I wanted to have an impact and uh, do something of real value. And then I turned 16 and I decided that I wanted to be a punk. So uh, it was an interesting journey, but it didn't involve any of the traditional uh, routes into what one would call a career. And despite my enunciation, uh, I come from a socio-economic background that would indicate it would be difficult for me to progress through society. But then I met someone who worked in software and they introduced me to someone, some, lots of other people that worked in software and they were intelligent and they were passionate people. And I realized I wanted to be part of this world and I was faced with an impossible challenge. I could actually apply to be part of this world. I wasn't techie, I wasn't a geek, I didn't have a degree, but I had the opportunity to apply, so I did. And after a long interview process, I got the call that I had the job. And three months later, I started as a business analyst working for ThoughtWorks. Livestock haulier, business analyst. Impossible task number two, do not let them find out that I have no idea what I'm doing, because I had no idea what I was doing. I uh, was handed a MacBook on day one and looked for the right click. I was in meetings and they were drinking beer. <laughs> and I was nodding along to conversations that I really wasn't following. But I got stuck in and I immersed myself in the culture <laughs> and I extended my network. And then I was quickly put on a project and it was fine because they could say, just ask. If you don't know what you're doing, just ask. But of course, I didn't know what I didn't know. So how was I supposed to ask about something I didn't know about? Mm. Anyway, you plod along and you carry on and actually it worked out quite well. <laughs> and I was just uh, getting used to the idea and not worried that they would find out I didn't know what I was doing because I was doing it. And then impossible task number three, I was handed our very first business, uh, business analyst internship. And uh, I barely trusted myself to do the job, and then I was handed someone else who was going to learn from me. How was, I supposed to, how was I supposed to do that? But I can tell you that the best person placed to help you learn about what you're doing is someone who is learning from you. And I, I did learn that I knew some stuff. And I, if I didn't know, we would go and learn it together. So my life changed when I got that call to say I had this job. And then I hope I went part way to changing that intern's life because we were both given opportunities. We were given an opportunity because the company that we worked for believed in us and they believed in true diversity. They believed in potential and passion. And the world of software, I think we all agree, it can offer opportunities like this. You can find more people like me, I'm not unique. But now I really am making a difference I have a, meaning a meaningful effect on people's lives and I'm making some impact on the world because I made these impossible tasks possible. Thank you.